Thanks for joining us today. We've been spending a lot of time thinking about the winter. Over time, we can't overcome the T's long-term challenges, but we also can't afford to have another winter like the last one with respect to the way we respond as a commonwealth. And to do our part today, we're announcing a winter resiliency plan. This plan dedicates $83 million over the next few years to invest in snow removal equipment, infrastructure upgrades, and operation improvements to increase service reliability for when the next big snowstorm hits. The plan itself will allocate funding to replace and fix critical pieces of equipment that failed during last winter's storms, including third rails, switch heaters, and snow fencing. The plan also sets aside funding for contingency planning uh, for when the next storm hits, such as snow removal assistance and further streamlining our response and recovery efforts. We believe that with these plans in place, the T will be able to more quickly bring in emergency help to clear tracks and get trains moving. And we're also preparing to obtain new and better snow clearing equipment. At the MBTA, the twin goals of our preparation for winter remain the safety of our passengers and the ability to provide reliable service to those customers under, the circum under as many circumstances as we can do <coughs> safely. But I want to emphasize the governor's point. This is just a down payment on the kinds of changes that we're going to be needing to make at the MBTA and the kinds of investments that we're going to be able needing to make in the system. We're doing what we can with the resources at our disposal and with the talent we have at the agency, but this is not going to fix the T. Um, that will involve a collaboration with the legislature to produce the legislation that will give us the control board and will give that control board the tools it needs. Uh, we've developed a targeted set of investments that we will do to address these weaknesses in the system to make us more reliable, more resilient, it, the plan's obviously not a cure-all, and there remains significant work ahead to overcome the structural and financial challenges we face at the T. And our legislation, we believe, addresses many of those concerns to set the T on the right track, pun intended, toward efficiency and dependability.